the last few years, you've heard endless stories about how Allergan, AGN, the big pharma company that unfortunately is a lot smaller than it used to be, at least by market capitalization, is soon to come under fire as other companies roll out new competition for its number one product, Botox. Well, last week, those predictions came true when Evelis, a tiny, relatively unknown company, got FDA approval for Juveau, uh, which they describe as a drop-in replacement. We're going to learn more about that for a second for Botox, meaning doctors can easily swap out one anti-wrinkle drug for the other. Now, ever since the FDA rendered its judgment on Friday, Evelis' stock has been flying from $16 last Thursday to nearly $29 today. I'm wary of chasing anything that's had such a monster move, but this one definitely merits closer inspection. So let's check in with David Motizetti. He is the president and CEO of Evelis, who used to run Allergan's U.S. Medical Aesthetics Division. Learn more about his company and how it's doing with this new drug. Mr. Motizetti, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Great. All right. How are you? Good to see you. All right. This is exciting times for your company. Uh, we know that Botox is a gigantic drug. But we also know Allergan is a gigantic company. What makes you think that you'll be able to go head to head with them, given how many companies have tried, but even the, the two that are out there right now have never been able to take more than 30% of the market? Well, Jim, you're right. It's a very exciting time in the aesthetic space. Probably no better time to be a customer than today in this market. Uh, as you know, last Friday, we received FDA approval for our drug right. named Javo. We're entering one of the fastest growing spaces in healthcare, which is medical aesthetics. And Javeau is the first product to get approved in this category in nearly a decade. Yeah, but but Al Allergan spends a billion dollars to promote Botox, yeah. and they've got it kind of like Kleenex. And uh, uh, Xeomin and Dysport have done huge price discounts, and they still haven't been able to take that much share from Botox. How do you go up against a jug juggernaut? That's right. Well, look, this product and the company was designed from the outset to compete against the market leader. Okay. And I'll tell you why. First, we conducted the trials with Javeau head-to-head -head versus Botox. Matter of fact, we conducted the largest head-to-head -head studies, which were phase three studies in Europe and Canada, comparing Javeau directly to Botox okay. Cosmetic over five months. We'll release those results in the second quarter of this year before we launch. The second okay. thing is, we're a different type of aesthetic company. We're the first neurotoxin to enter that's aesthetic only. That means we have, we're free from all government restrictions and government reimbursement. And that, we believe, as we commercialize so product, pay. should be able to know that. It's all private. But now, are you going to have a label that's, uh, that makes a comparison against Botox when this comes out? Yeah, so in the FDA's eyes, any differentiation in the label is difficult to do. Right. However, being able to promote data that shows head-to-head -head results is exactly what we've heard from doctors differentiates us versus those other products you mentioned that entered the U.S. market. We believe that a combination of that data as well as our focus on differentiating the brand. Mm -hmm. This product was built from the ground up around a new target segment, which is the millennial population. We've branded the company, the product, all the messaging around how millennial thinks and considers getting into this market for treatment. And we believe that that is what ultimately will differentiate well, this market. Is this a derivative of an older, like, you know, done some research in this Korean drug that is not a brand new, built from the ground up? Because we had Revance on. That's built from the ground up. Is yours built from the ground up, or is it uh, actually a license from a, a Korean company? That's right. So this product is actually manufactured out of a brand new facility with our partner, Daewoo. And that facility was built specifically for Javeau. And we okay. manufacture this technology called uh, the Hypure technology, which is an entirely new manufacturing process for a neurotoxin. That science in combination with our clinical data is what doctors are very excited about the market. Now, you do have a 55% shareholder, uh, Alfion, uh, and uh, that's a gentleman, Mr. Grant. I I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, I saw. I wanted to figure out whether that he could be able to sell because the reason I say that is because the stock's had a big move, and I know that a lot of our viewers would say, "Wow, this is so exciting!" Because Botox, you come in 25% cheaper, but then they'll buy the stock, and it turns out you'll do a big equity offering, and they'll say, "Oh my God, Jim, why didn't you ask him about that?" <laughs> no, it's a fair question. And last February, we did our IPO, and okay. our largest shareholder is Alfion. Yeah. And over the course of the last year, they've thoughtfully wound down their ownership to what is today about 56% okay. of the company. Like any other large shareholder, as the company transitions from R&D to a commercial stage, which just occurred, right. you'd expect that they'll thoughtfully continue to wind down their ownership. That being said, you know, they've been very invested in the success of this company mm -hmm. and very supportive of our strategy moving okay, forward. One last question. I, I know that millennials are interested. Um, are you going to do a big social media campaign? Because that's what I think is, could, could get it from the ground up. 
Yes. So we built an entirely new platform that powers this company. If you were to walk around our hallways as an example, we went to the Bay Area and to companies like Microsoft and Google and hired tech talent with no healthcare experience to create an entirely new digital platform that powers our company. That in combination with all the branding we believe in the digital space will launch a new product that targets that young segment. In the end, this aesthetic market is being fueled by the millennial I growth. Agree. And so clearly there's an opportunity for no, us. No, I think there's room for everybody here, but I, you right. know, I would encourage you to be able to come in and make it so that, look, if it's, it's very expensive for private pay. So if anything that makes it come down will make the millennials very interested. Okay, that's David Motizetti, is president and CEO of Evelis. Okay, now the stock has just almost doubled, so be careful. Man Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.